you to open your notebook to the first blank page. My question is, what do you think a geotechnical engineer? Yep. Engineer does for a job. Okay, this is a circle map. So your question goes in the middle and all your thoughts go on the outside. Does it matter if you're right or wrong right now? No. All your thoughts. I'm going to give you one minute to write everything on there that you think that they might do for a job. Okay, there's your timer. Here we go. I'm going to call on one person from each table group, table group to tell me something I can put up here. I'm going to put whatever it is up here, right or wrong. I don't know if they're wrong. We're going to find out. Ready, Wayla? Give me one thing. Visit different lands. Visit different lands, okay? Visit different lands. Okay, somebody, um, Haley's table. Tell me one thing on your papers. Studies landforms. Studies landforms, okay? Studies landforms. Okay, and Sierra? Build landscaping. Landscape. Did you say build landscaping? Okay, I'll add build. Okay, so this story is about a boy who lives in Nepal. Where he lives on one side of the ri river and there is no safe bridge for him to cross. This is some of the things you need to know right here, the Kanali River. Okay, here's Kathmandu. That's a city that's there. This is the Himalaya Mountains. Have you ever heard of the Himalaya Mountains? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some of you have? Okay. And down here is India. Who's heard of India? Me. Oh, good. And up here is China. We've heard of China? Okay. This is chapter one, Journey Through the Night. Suman, Buwa, my father, stirred me awake. We need you. My eyes fluttered open. I laid there for a moment, not sure whether I had been dreaming. Through the window, the sky was dark, much darker than the misty blue I usually saw just before the sunrise. What will happen if Aji gets sick during the rainy season, I thought. During the rainy season, the rain fell so hard that the river would flood and we couldn't go to school. If the floods were bad enough, we wouldn't be able to cross the river for anything, not even to reach the clinic. How do you think Suman feels about the rainy season. Faith, what do you think he feels? Uh, worried. Worried? Okay, what's another word? It's another word. Evelyn. Scared. Scared. As you heard, the village is thinking of building a tar pool. What is that? Sita asked. It's a special kind of bridge, Bua said. It is supposed to be good for crossing rivers during rainy season. It allows you to pull yourself through the air in a small car hanging from cables above the water. Anybody seen one of these? No. Yes. Seen something like it? Like it? No. Okay, you've seen something like it. Austin, what have you seen like it? It's basically like a zip line, but then there's something else. But then it, there's like a cart over it. So okay, yeah. there's like a cart over it. Okay, and Acacia, you were saying it also looks like a, kind of like a zip line. Okay, Sophia, what else? Like a, snow lift. a snow lift. So here is a drawing of one, and here is a... An actual photo of one. Bua, do you think I could come t with you to the meeting, I asked. Yes, I think that would be a good idea, Suman. Bua said, and you're getting old enough to help with the project like this if you want. You may come with me. Why do you think Suma wants to go with his father to learn about this bridge project? If you were him, okay, ready to close your eyes. Think you're him. You're in a village, your grandma's sick. Can't get across the river. Why would you want to go with your buwa to go to this meeting about building a bridge? Don't say anything, just think. We're thinking. Okay, look at your partner. Share with him why. Yeah, and because my grandma's sick and I want to help her. Excuse me, David, Mr. I said, what do you mean by technologies? Well, a technology is anything or process that is designed to solve a problem. Okay, I'm going to stop. What's a technology? To design and do problems. <laughs> I'll try that one more time. Ready? 
A technology is anything or process that's designed to solve a problem. Is this a technology? Yes. 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 How about the staple? Is that a technology? Yes. Yes. Okay, remember, it's anything that we've made, man-made, that we've done, designed to solve a problem. The tarp haul is a technology that helps solve the problem of how to cross the river during the rainy season. He pointed across the river. We will anchor poles in the foundation on the opposite sides of the river bank. Then we will run two cables and a rope from the pole on one side to the pole to the other. The car that the people ride in travels along the cables. The people riding in their car pull themselves along using the rope. How do you move? Show me how you do it. There you go. <laughs> I see, I said. It's called a core sample. Different layers of soil, I asked. There are all kinds of soil, rocks, organic materials that make up the ground. This is called a flow map. So you're going to make a box and an arrow that goes to another box. And you're going to keep going until you've run out of things to put in boxes. So I'm just going to give you two to start with. I want you to look at the text. You're going to find directly out of this text. If I want to take a core sample, just like they did, look to see where in this text, what does he do first? Okay, who can volunteer to tell me the very first thing he does? Haley, really loud. Push a tube into the ground. Right, the next thing he does. What's the very next thing? Ezekiel, what's the second thing? Then he twisted and lifted it. He twisted and lifted it. Yeah. Fourth thing. What do you think it is, Acacia? He knelt closer to get a better look. Okay, label the top of your page. Core sample. Make sure this page has a number on it. You're going to want to put this on your table of contents. It's going to be important later. I'm going to test the soil at a few other spots tomorrow. Then I can make a recommendation for where to put the anchors. I don't see why we need tests and recommendations. Buwa was standing near us. He crouched down. The tarp wall should be built where we always cross, at the narrowest point in the river. For thousands of years, everyone in our village has crossed that river in that spot. Why do you think Buwa feels so strongly about where that tarpaul should be? Whisper to your partner. Um, I think that it's so that like, you don't mess it up. Like, what would it be in like, the wrong spot in the water when it's specifically like, there? Okay, one kid share. Why do you think he's really strong about where that thing should be built? Sierra, I heard you say something to your group. Could you share it out? It's the way we've always done it. You cannot challenge my decisions when you still have much to learn about the traditions of our village. Neither one of us spoke during the rest of the walk home. On page one, two, it says choosing a site. I'm going to read the directions with you. Directions. Throughout the story, Suman, Kadar, and Buwa mention Factors that are important to think about when choosing a site for the tarpaul. In the chart below, identify each factor and explain why it is important. There, yeah, there are four boxes. We just read a story and they were talking about some of the things that are factors and why they don't want to build it where they think they want to build it. When we come back from recess, I want you to try to think of one. So, I'm going to read through. You are going to write one factor. If I'm reading and you hear another factor, write another one. Remember, a factor is uh, something that affects something. So we're listening for factors, deciding on where to put the tar pole. Zoe, what's one factor? Soil. Soil? What kind of soil is there? Hard soil. Hard soil. Okay, what else? What other kinds of soil? Do you have another kind? Soft soil. Another kind? Sandy. Sandy. Oh, um, Austin, what's yours say? Gravel. Gravel. Oh yeah, another kind of soil is gravel or rock. Yeah. 
What's another factor that leads into where we decide to put it? Haley, where else? Erosion. Erosion. Okay, first factor we said was soil. Okay, and it could be sandy, rock, somebody said soft, hard. What about something to do with the river itself? I'm just drawing a picture to get you to think. This is my river. Oh, Zoe, you got an idea? Oh, you mean how wide it might be? Where it might be thinner or wider? Why would this make a difference? Because we only have so many materials. Because we only have so much materials, okay. And how do you get materials? Money. Ah, so much materials and so much money. Can't go over your budget. You made it. Okay, we have seven minutes before PE. I would like you to turn your page over. With your partner, I want you to write what you think each word means. You have tarful. I know what a tarful is. Oh, yeah. Tarful is a um, machine. It's a bell. Yeah, but I don't know how to explain it. A bridge. It's a bridge. It's a machine that helps you get your It's a, it's a bridge. It's, it's kind it's of like a, a bridge. bridge. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, just say it's a movie. It is time to go to PE. Put your pencil down. Come push your chair in. I'm Desiree Hall and I teach fifth grade at West Hill STEM Academy in Bremerton, Washington. In the kit, they get a storybook and it talks about, kind of sets up everything for the rest of the unit. Um, I brought that book back in several times as I was doing lessons. Remember when Suman had to do this? And what, what was his problem? And why did he need to go there? So it gave them a real connection with what they were doing. It wasn't just two buckets of dirt and some sticks. They had an idea of the, oh, this is like the ground that he's actually trying to build into. And this is the bucket that's actually gonna hold him across the river. So there's a lot of times to pull that in. And I think it's really important that they hear that story to begin with to set up their knowledge so that when you're scaffolding later, you can bring that prior knowledge back in and connect it to them so that they learn that in a stronger way.